In this video, we'll be loading some data from a CSV file to our SQL tables that we created here in the first step. To do this, we will bring in a data flow task and then connect the first step, our execute SQL, to this data flow task so it happens directly after it. So if we double click and go in here, we'll see that there are actually a, a lot more new options in our toolbox. The one we want to select is flat file source. And we can use this to pull from a text file and a CSV file. Let's rename this CSV file just for some clarity. And when we come in here, we will need to make a new connection, just like a lot of the other components. So let's click new, give it a new name. We don't want to just keep it generic. So we'll call this CSV file connection. And within here, we can browse and select the actual specific file that we want to use um, as the source. And here we have a couple different files. We'll just take the basic one. The other ones we'll use in later videos. Keep these as default. And if we go to columns, we can see that it, it's actually picking up what's in the file, including the headers. And in the advanced tab, we can select attributes by column and get a preview. One thing. I, I tend to change here is the data type. So for a string, change it to a Unicode string. It just helps uh, converting it between SSIS to SQL Server just to avoid some errors. And in the preview here, we see it all, all looks good. So we have our source ready to go. And the next thing we want to do is move it from this source to, um, to a SQL Server. But first, let's take a look at what this file looks like, just so you can see. It's just very simple, three columns, some data for some teams. Okay, so now we are going to add a destination, OLEDB destination, and that will allow us to upload this to our SQL Server table. We'll rename this SQL Server table and connect the two. So that means it will take the output of the CSV file in and then move that forward. In this editor, we see our connection is there that we made in the last video. We'll do a fast load and select the table we want to load it to. And the mappings automatically detect the columns based on the names. These final two are not included here. We'll be adding those in a later video. So those will come through as null. So it will pass through here from the CSV file to the SQL Server table. Confirm here that this table is currently empty. Give this a, a better name. Call this uh, low teen data, just to be specific. Now let's save and execute this package to see what happens. And if we look here in the debugger, we see those five rows were captured and moved along. And if we go back to SQL Server, take another look at this, so we can see those columns, those rows were added and those columns that were empty were set as null. So that is how you move data from a CSV file to a SQL Server table. Thanks for watching.